I am Dr. Naresh Kumar, India Meteorological Department, New Delhi. We will discuss about what was the weather last week and what will be the weather for coming next two week. If you talk about uh, previous week, there was only one important system, a low pressure area which formed over northeast Bay of Bengal and it has caused extremely heavy rainfall, more than 20 centimeter rainfall over West Bengal on 23rd and over Orissa on 24th. It also have caused heavy to very heavy rainfall, more than 12 centimeter over Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh on 24th. And uh, another important feature of the last week is the withdrawal of the southwest monsoon. If you talk about the withdrawal due to the formation of anti-cyclonic flow over Rajasthan uh, in low level, monsoon has withdrawal over many part of Gujarat, Rajasthan, entire Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi, some part of Madhya Pradesh, Himachal, Jammu and Kashmir till now. And uh, what we are uh, considering the conditions are favorable, it will further withdraw some remaining part of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir, some more part of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, and Uttarakhand during next two, three days. And thereafter, there will be a break in the withdrawal due to the, we are expecting the continuous weather over the Indian Reserve for uh, next, uh, we can say one week. So if you talk about the rainfall, this is the weekly rainfall, 18 to 24 September. Generally, from the figures you can see here, the blue color is the above normal rainfall. So central India received above normal rainfall that is 22% uh, 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 above long period average and south peninsular India also received above normal rain, rainfall by 28% and if you talk about uh, India as a whole it was minus 3% of the long period average. So generally rainfall has occurred over uh, central India and south peninsular India. As I have mentioned, this is a majorly contributed due to the low pressure area. And if you see the seasonal rainfall from 1st uh, June to 24th September, so this is a totally 7% above long period average. Here if you talk about the reason wise, Northwest India received the maximum rainfall that is above 29%. You can see in the figures also, there are, you can see mostly area of the Northwest India is blue color and Central India, it was above 12%. South Peninsular India, it was 9%. And if you talk about India as a whole, it's above 7%. Now, uh, this is the forecast and warning for the next week. So we are expecting a low pressure area, fresh low pressure area likely to form may intensify into the depression also that uh, uh, the next 12 hours thereafter it is likely to, to form the depressions over Bio Bengals under it influence. We are expecting the very heavy rainfall over uh, Vidarva, Chhattisgarh and Telangana today and thereafter you can see orange color is majorly Odisha then coastal Andhra Pradesh then Telangana and uh, on 27th also we are expecting very heavy rainfall over Odisha and along with that we are expecting there should be a increase in rainfall activity along the best coast so we are expecting extremely heavy rainfall more than 20 centimeter over Konkan Goa and Madhya Maharashtra on 27th and 28th and very heavy more than 12 centimeter rainfall over this area on 29th and thereafter rainfall decrease gradually over the remaining parts. So this is about uh, cyclogenesis here as I have told there is a possibility of low pressure area over north and joining central way during next 12 hours and thereafter it is likely to concentrate into a depressions over northwest and joining best central Bay of Bengal uh, around 26th and thereafter uh, it is uh, likely to cross moving uh, nearly westward and uh, likely to emerge into the northeast Arabian Sea of South Gujarat coast as a low pressure area on 29th. And uh, this is from week one and week two 
the major system is we are expecting a low pressure area likely to form our north and adjoining central bay of bengal around uh, 1st october there is a low to moderate probability of its intensification into a depression around 2nd october so this is a weekly summary as i already have mentioned about a week one rainfall will be over the central part of country majorly and we have mentioned on 27 28 we are expecting extremely heavy rainfall over maharashtra and uh, for big two there is as i have told there is a possibility of formation of low pressure area under its influence we are expecting there will be a fairly widespread widespread rainfall with isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall over most part of northeast india maharashtra majorly konkan go and madhya maharashtra madhya pradesh its southern part majorly telangana during first half of the week and uh, we cannot rule out there may be the extremely heavy rainfall over assam and meghalaya during one or two days of the week if you talk about overall scenarios you can see here uh, in the uh, that is a blue uh, figure uh, figure number four if you see so there is a most of the area is covered by blue colors so we are expecting there will be a above normal rainfall over northwest india specifically plains only and central east and northeast india and near or normal or many parts of south india during uh, week two which is second to eighth october and if you talk about the temperatures you can see from the figures but we are expecting especially northern part of the country starting from gujarat and then northern part western himalayan region northeastern state temperature is likely to be above normal by 2 to 4 degree and the remaining part of the country we are expecting there should be below normal temperatures and if you talk about week 2 here we are expecting more temperatures over uh, western himalaya region and uh, else either either it is a normal we know longer thank you very much for listening this is a brief about past week and uh, forecast for next week